Good morning, afternoon, it's almost afternoon. Just wanted to uh, send a shout out to everyone and say hi, this is Father Jim again. Uh, it's been a while since we did a video, but I wanted to uh, uh, say thank you. I wanted to reach out to our parishioners and just say a few things, but most of all, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for all that you do, continuing to support our parish. We're trying to do everything we can, and so thank you very much for all that you do. I am very grateful for our parishioners. I am very grateful that we've been able to reopen for Mass. Uh, it was a little hard saying Mass without anybody there, but you know, it's, I'm so glad that we're back. There's a lot of guidelines and restrictions. You know, this is a very tough time, uh, and, it, and it is for everyone. The last four months have been so unnormal than, than anything else we've ever gone through. You know, it's been so difficult. And, you know, I want to thank those who do come to Mass. I want to thank them for adhering to our guidelines. I know it's not easy. Not everyone is comfortable wearing a mask. Not everyone is comfortable coming out. And for those who can't come out or feel like they're not ready for that, know that you're in our thoughts and prayers. And, and I, we appreciate you, and we look forward to when we can have you back because we miss you. But I want to say thank you to all those behind the scenes, all of our ministers who are cleaning the pews after Mass, those who have been doing all this planning, trying to get Mass reopened. It takes a lot of people, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And so I just want to say thank you for that. Um, and thank you for adhering to our guidelines. You know, it's, it's not easy. Uh, but we have to do everything we can to try to end this. We want this to end. We want to get back. We may never get back to normal, and it may seem like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. But the more we can do and the more safety precautions we can take, maybe the faster we do get back to some sense of normalcy. So I appreciate you. I appreciate whether you can come to Mass or not. I appreciate everyone who is following those guidelines. I also want to say thank you because even from the outset of this, our parishioners have been so vested in our parish continuing to send in their collections. At first it was in mail, but we couldn't have people here. People were mailing in their envelopes. We have our EFT that continues to bring money into the parish. We now have WeShare, which is on our website where you can actually use a credit card. You don't have to do a voided check. And I just want to say thank you because our parishioners have been so generous, not only to continuing to give money to the church, but especially to St. Vincent de Paul to our Haiti, our sister parish, St. Jude in Haiti, and to our other social outreach programs. We can't continue to do what we're doing to go out to serve those who are in need without you. And I just wanted to stop and say thank you, because sometimes things are taken for granted, and I don't ever want to take anything for granted, especially not the wonderful generosity of our parishioners. And so thank you very much for that. You make it possible for us to do what we need to do. And you know, our staff is working hard. They've had to adjust a lot working from home. And luckily, we haven't had to furlough or lay off anyone. We've been able to keep everybody. And so that's a positive thing. And that's because of you. And so I just want to say thank you. We do have some exciting news going on. Uh, we continue to live stream masses when we can. Right now, we're trying to do one a week. We're actually looking at getting equipment in both churches so that we can uh, do that constantly so that every mass every worship service can be streamed online and for those who you know don't feel comfortable coming back to mass yet we want to continue to do that i i have to stop and and give a sincere thank you to andrew and charlotte murphy they have been so wonderful you know they're the ones who have been doing all the work to live stream our masses and it takes them an hour to set up, usually. They've gotten better at it. They've, they've streamlined it as they go, but they bring in a big table, two monitors, all the equipment they set up. They have to run lines to connect the audio, to connect the internet. And it's really been a selfless work. And it's because of them that we've been able to do this. And Andrew's working right now at getting equipment so that we can start to do this constantly. Maybe down the road in a year or so, we can actually put those pivotal cameras where you can zoom in and do all that and have it streamed online like some other places do. But right now, we're just looking for some way 
to make it so that we can continue to live stream all of our masses. School is about to open. Uh, I know Dr. Wallace and the, the school staff has been working so hard on a plan and, and the hardest thing is we don't know everything. We don't have all the answers yet. We're still waiting on more information from the government and the, the Center for Disease Control. But we do have a plan to open fully uh, this August and so I'm very excited about that. It will be so wonderful to see our kids again and I know our teachers are working so hard on finalizing those plans. Something should be out maybe in the next week to all our parents so that you know what the plan is. And, and, and the one thing about this is, and we all have to keep this in mind, this plan has to be fluid. It has to be something that there's nothing set in stone. Because as different things come and, you know, the CDC and the state seems to change on a daily basis. So this is going to be something that is always going to have to be flexible and will constantly be tweaked and adjusted and looked at just like everything else that we're doing. Our mass schedule right now is, is the same way. So just please, you know, be flexible and, and thank you for that. But we are excited about bringing our kids back and having them in school. Uh, also, we have a new apparel line for St. Henry coming up, uh, and soon you'll be able to order that. And it's great because we have a, it's a beautiful new logo. We've kind of taken the old logo and, and kind of adjusted it a little bit, but it's now you can wear your, your St. Henry spirit wear very proudly. Bishop Libel School has always had their own spirit wear, so um, you, can, you can buy that as well, and soon we'll have some good hope spirit wear as well. So we're very excited about that and getting our brand out there and our parishioners do so much for us and we take pride in our parish and our pastoral region and so we're very excited about that. We're also looking at redoing our bulletin. Hopefully in the, in the near future we will have a new bulletin out, a little upgrade, uh, a little less stagnant information. There's a lot of information that you can get on the website or you can just call the parish to get so we're going to try to remove some of that more pictures, more interaction, more something that just kind of, when you look at it, it pops. And it's exciting. This is what's going on in our parish. Lots of pictures about what people are doing. Different ministries, different groups. That's who we are. You know, that's who we are. And so we're looking at with St. Henry with that new bulletin. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, we do have a new pilgrimage coming up in September the 6th through the 16th of 2021. As you may remember, we went to Italy of 2019, so about a year ago, February and March, and now we're going to the Holy Land. We are going to the place where Christ himself walked, where his public ministry took place. We will be in Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives. We walk the way of the cross, Holy Sepulchre Church, where Christ was crucified. We will see Bethany, um, other places, Jericho, the Jordan River, Jesus' baptismal site, or at least what we believe to be his baptismal site, Sea of Galilee, Mount of Beatitudes, Tiberias. Um, we get to see the place where the multiplication of fish and loaves happened, the place in Capernaum where Peter lived, where Jesus spent a lot of his time. So we're really excited, and, and I know with the coronavirus there's a lot of concern and question, but we're planning on going forward with this. And the travel agency has said is if by chance the government or coronavirus cancels it, they will get anybody who signs up for it will be able to get another trip. You won't be refunded, but that money will go towards another trip. So that's a good thing. So we're, I'm really excited. I went back when I was in the seminary, and I'm very excited about going as a priest and being able to say mass at all these beautiful places and to share that with our parishioners. So. If you're interested, check out the website. There is a form you can sign up and just let us know that you're interested and then I will be sending out different communications as we you know, get closer. Also, we have launched a new website, which we're very excited about. And one of, one of the things that excites me most is the portal page. So now when you go to our website, to St. Henry's website, which is the same, www.sthenryparish.com, you go to a portal page and you can go to St. Henry, our Lady Good Hope, or to Bishop Leibold School. We are a pastoral region, and so I believe our website needs to portray that and express that. And so you can go to any of those sites, and there's also some other things on the website, and it's going to be constantly updated. We still have a lot of work to do. It's still kind of in the baby steps, so it may not have everything yet, 
but that's a constant work and we're going to be trying to improve that constantly and just provide as much information to our parishioners and visitors as much as we can. I just wanted to take some time to reach out. Know that you are in our thoughts and prayers. I know this is a difficult time, but most of all, I want to say thank you. I have a, a deep feeling of gratitude for our parishioners, for all that you do. I know how difficult this is, yet you continue to live out your faith. You continue to be who you are, and I just want to say thank you because that's what this is all about. Being together, hopefully we can start being together more often, but just continue to live our faith and to be the children of God, to be brothers and sisters in Christ. And so I just want to say thank you because you make my job a lot easier. God bless you. Hope to talk to you soon.